Hey there everyone, it's been a, a hot minute since the last video. Um, let me see, I'll, uh, I'll uh, address the elephant in the room. Um, so, future versions of the Community Theme Creator will no longer be published on the Launchbox forum. Um, where? They will be published is yet to be determined. I have a few ideas. Um, and there will be an evaluation version. So it's free to use, free to try. Um, but obviously it will have features that are disabled, i.e. you will not be able to publish themes. Uh, you will not be able to render uh, custom images, uh, things like that. Um, but future versions will be behind a paywall. And the reason for that is a couple. Um, first off, some of the new uh, features that I'm adding to the theme creator, I'm actually having to reach outside and pay um, an individual um, to do some development work for me. Okay. Um, and then the, uh, the other reason is my time. Um, so for example, version 2.5, I spent 12 months, um, of my own personal time, uh, on that build and, um, <clears throat> which I don't mind doing by the way, but, um, it was an awful lot of time. Um, and, uh, I put a lot of pressure on myself to deliver uh, when I delivered. So uh, going forward, um, it will not be free. Um, it will be behind a paywall. And again, that's yet to be determined. And the price is yet to be determined. But um, I'm just, I'm just letting you know um, what my um, current plan is uh, for future builds. Um, so with that aside, um, I'll show off some of the new features that I'm currently working on in version three. And um, uh, I, hope you, uh, I hope you like what you see. So I'm going to leave this particular theme up, just put it in full screen. Um, now what I've done behind the scenes, I've got game videos prioritized based on how you've set the prioritization within Launchbox. So I've got gameplay videos right here. Let's go to... Uh, PlayStation. Let's see what we've got here. Again, gameplay videos. All right. So if I exit here and go into Launchbox, How to do this. Media video priorities. I've got video snaps as the highest priority. Okay, so I'm going to click on theme video and move it up. Hit OK. Close launch box. Open Community Theme Creator. And now it's using a theme video uh, because it exists and it's displaying those instead. Okay, so um, at least that's consistent if you're publishing a theme via uh, the Community Theme Creator or at least if you're viewing your theme within the uh, theme creator and you'll see in all these different videos 
you would expect big box to be displaying the same video um, images, right? And that wasn't the case because I wasn't taking into consideration the um, uh, video prioritization that was set up in LaunchBox. So now it does. All right. Um, so that's one. Um, the other thing is, um, let's take this one. And as you can see, this is a vertical theme. And what I've added here in the drop down, as you can see, there's a padlock. Okay. So uh, you have the option um, to essentially publish this theme and force it to use the selected aspect ratio. Okay. So um, obviously, the people that are creating, designing, publishing, uh, vertical um, oriented uh, themes they, they they have a they have a screen that they have set to a specific resolution uh, that handles that but there are other people on the forum that are downloading these themes expecting them to display um, as they see in the screenshot and of course they're not changing their uh, desktop resolution um, to to make it look like this so um, to save confusion you can publish and force uh, big box to display um, this target aspect ratio and then for those users um, you'll get a border <laughs> black borders but at least the views will display as designed okay so anyway that's another option Let's go back to um, yeah, let's go back to theme components view and I'll go here. And we'll go through this. So what I have here is a very basic uh, vertical view. And as you can see, the video, um, and actually, I don't really like these theme videos, so I'm going to revert back. I like the game snaps. That's just my own personal preference. <clears throat> so if you missed what I did the first time around, you'll catch it this time around. All right. Tools, options, scroll down to video priorities. And I want theme uh, video snaps as the uh, as the highest priority. All right, sorry about that. Let's go back in. And I'm going to pick arcade. Let's go to Mortal Kombat. There you go. Um, actually, let's see if I can find one that... Um, really? I don't have Mr. Do. I'm trying to find something that uh, shows off the curvature. I mean, this works. I mean, you can see that the text is bent here and up here. Okay. Um, yeah, these are good. All right, let's go into the editor. <clears throat> so I can now distort uh, images, as you can see here. And uh, this is some of the work that I had outsourced. Um, so on the selected item video, if I scroll down to effect, I've got multiple now. So it's not just blur and drop shadow. We have four more uh, effects. And these are using GPU-based uh, instructions. So they're extremely quick. 
All right. So as you can see, CRT is selected and we have properties based on that. So I can change the uh, distortion on the X axis. And obviously if you've got a selected item video behind an overlay and the overlay is curved, like the example I have here, it's really just a, a, a matter of changing the X and the Y to meet the curvature of your overlay. That's it. It's really that easy. Okay. So we've done that. Let's do the Y. Like so. And that's it. Okay. I've got scaling just in case you need it or want it. Um, but I'm not using this for this particular overlay. All right. So that's, uh, that's one. And if I go up to the top, because all of these elements are captured within a grid, um, if I go down to, or if I go here, and I select uh, Pivot, and I'm currently working on this one, we can adjust the axis as so, and, and it's creating an accurate perspective of essentially everything that's within that element, okay? So we have two GPU uh, shader instructions, uh, one for curvature, and now the second one that's engaged is this pivot, all right? Um, and to see both in conjunction with a, a better, because obviously this is a, <laughs> that just looks flat. Um, I have a better example. And what I've done here, <clears throat> as you can see, I've applied the pivot to the text list and I've applied a pivot to the video. And the video also contains a curvature uh, distortion effect. As you can see, the text is still bent to meet the um, uh, curvature of the uh, overlay. And then I figured, why not add a very subtle reflection? As you can see here, it's mimicking the curvature as well. A reflection up here. It's all real time. Very fast. Okay. And then let's see. Trying to have have some other examples if I can remember. Yeah, here's another one. Now I tried doing this before <clears throat> using the monochrome effect that I had um, already in uh, Community Theme Creator, but that's software based. And it was converting um, a colored image into a monochrome image at the software level is too slow. So I have a monochrome effect. And as you can see, it's very fast. So the unselected items are black and white. The selected item is in color. I mean, it was, you know, just to demonstrate performance, really. But if I go into the wheel item, I believe it was this one, or maybe not, I think it was this one. Yep, color. And again, um, 
I'm changing the content of this one. So I'm displaying a monochrome version of the image if it's um, if it's not selected, okay? And it, if it's not selected, it puts the monochrome version of this content over the top, hiding the color one, okay? So it's basically taking a capture of the content here, which is in color, and then it's applying a um, uh, a hardware or a GPU effect monochrome um, to create the black and white version. See, like so. And again, you know, you can change how you want it to look. Okay. Instead of black and white. So like so. Go back to views. Like that. Okay. So that was um, monochrome. And then if I use the same view, actually, we can go to user defined view. And this is using um, random game videos in a um, just on a loop it's just picking a file displaying it for so many seconds and then picking the next one but what we can do we can apply um, a, a mask or sorry an effect to this one and I've called this one pixelate okay now you can apply this effect to anything it's entirely up to you you can only have one effect per element so what you can do to get around multiple effects is nest them so you can have a grid or a canvas and a grid and or a canvas so canvas 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 and each one can have different effects so you can have a curvature on one the parent could have um, pivot for example or it could have pixelate the next one up could have monochrome. The next one up could have pivot. All right. So that's how you can get around not being able to apply multiple effects to a to a UI element. You can just nest them within a another container and apply the effect to that. All right. So let's pixelate. And then, um, so th those are some of the new features that I've been adding. I've got more um, more effects to add um, and more features uh, on the horizon. But um, <clears throat> obviously, it goes without saying, I've fixed um, a series of uh, bugs. I've fixed um, a number of bugs, added some other features that I can discuss at another time, but I wanted to demonstrate these. These are the, the, the big ones that I've been focusing on considering I've, um, I've been reaching out, <laughs> um, to a resource to, uh, to do some of these effects. And like I said, I've got some more, um, that I have planned and I'll show those off in due time. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, show off what is uh, currently there in version three. Um, and just to let you know what my plans are going forward. All right. So um, until the next video, take care, everyone. I'll catch you next time.